they low key kind of cute. It's Lisa, it's Lisa, it's Lisa Danielle. Something like that. What is up, world? It's your girl, Lisa D, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Go ahead, join the squad, subscribe to this channel, and click that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. So before we start this video, here's my disclaimer. I don't do disclaimers because I don't apologize for anything that I do. Unless it's like wrong, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I've gotten really negative comments on my off-white DIYs from people that say, Hype beasts are mad at you, And I guess I was supposed to be like, just so we're clear, my inspired by DIYs are strictly for fun. Do with it what you please, okay? All right, hype beast, y'all good? Calm, cool, and collected hype beast. Y'all, y'all not hype no more. You done? Thank you. Anyway, so in today's DIY, we are gonna make the Gucci metallic rainbow sneaker things, but they like $995, so that's why we're gonna like make them. These definitely are a for fun type DIY. They didn't come out that bad, like from far away. Cute. I mean, low key, you can wear these in a photo shoot. They're just a fun shoe. Have Comic Con coming up, and you want a platform shoe. This kind of DIY is gonna show you how to make a platform shoe, and you can customize it to whatever character you're trying to be. Or low key Halloween, you might want to be a walking Gucci Instagram ad and wear these for Halloween. But they're super cute, and they are wearable. But <laughs> come on, we all know they not real Gucci. So. If you want to see how I recreated the Gucci Metallic platform sneakers, then stay tuned. So you're going to want to get a pair of gold sneakers, but I couldn't find any. So I just got these plain white ones from Rainbow, and they were like two for $20. Y'all know how Rainbow is, y'all. It's mad cheap. Anyway, you're going to want to take the shoelaces out so that you can paint them. I'm using this Lumiere Gold Metallic Acrylic Paint. I got it off Amazon and I will make sure to link that down below. It was super cheap and I didn't even use like a quarter of the bottle for this. Then after you painted both of your shoes, you just want to let them dry overnight. Then you're going to grab some red ribbon and some blue ribbon. You want the blue ribbon to be thicker than the red. I think the blue ribbon I got was like uh, like an inch and a half. Then you take your E6000 glue and you glue the red on top of the blue ribbon. Then you're going to cut four pieces of ribbon because you need to put um, a strip on the inside and the outside of the shoe and you want to make sure that you cut your ribbon at an angle and you can just kind of measure it to your shoe and then you're going to glue the ribbon to both shoes. So you should have a total of four ribbons that you're gluing to the inside and the outside of the shoe. Then once you've let everything dry overnight, you're just going to lace your shoes back up. Now you could leave them just like this because I think there are some Gucci sneakers that are like this, but if you want the platform, then you're going to need to head over to your local Walmart and pick up some flip-flops. I'm using about six pairs of flip-flops and I am removing the little plastic part just by cutting it off and then pulling out the little circles and I'm going to do that to all six pairs. So in order to make the flip-flop fit the bottom of the sole of your shoe, you're going to want to take a Sharpie and trace around the shoe so that you can cut off the excess foam material. So now that you have all six pairs cut out, it's time to stack. I'm going to be using Goop for this part. It's just as good as E6000. I just ran out of my E6000. And you're literally going to just stack each flip-flop onto the corresponding foot flip-flop side. Y'all know what I mean though. <laughs> So once you've gotten all six layers stacked, it's time to add your shoe. So I'm gonna use some duct tape to hold the shoe in place because your shoe kind of curves up at the front. You need something to hold it down so that it will stick. So I'm just gonna put the shoe on top of the last glue layer and duct tape it down. Let that dry for like 24 hours just to be sure it stays and this is what you'll end up with. 
So once that's completely dry, it's time to add your stripes. And I got this set of mini duct tape from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. It's all the Gucci colors with the exception of purple. I had to just buy regular duct tape for the purple. So you want to start with the white and kind of put it halfway on the bottom of the sole so that you cover up that seam showing where we glued the flip-flops to the shoe. And you just want to go in order just like the Gucci ones, which is white, red, yellow, green, blue, and then purple. Now with the purple tape, we're just going to put it on the shoe just like normal. We're not going to cut it to the same width as the other pieces of tape because we're just going to take our white tape and put it on top of the purple to make it the same width as the other stripes. Now you can just like take the excess tape and tape it under the shoe if you want or you can cut it off. It's completely up to you. But once you've done all that, you are done. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Don't forget, if you try this, I would love to see it. So hashtag LisaDIY on social media. And I will see you in the next one. Deuces.